Hello, hello. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. How are you today? Hello, Patricia Carranza. How are you, Patricia Carranza? Me escucha, Patricia Carranza? Me escucha, Patricia Carranza? Okay, no me escucha. Hello, Claudia Trigueros, me escucha? Hello, teacher, sí lo oh, escucho. Okay, hello, Claudia, welcome. Hello, Georgina. Hello, Antonio. Hello, Patricia Hernandez. Hello, Jimmy. How are you, Cari? Hello, Edwin, Fatima, Claudia, Gilda, Nubia, Mario, Nitya, Sarah, Hello, teacher. Marta, Nelson, Mariela. Welcome, welcome, everybody. All right. Thank you all for being here today. I hope that everybody had a very good day and that you had a blessed day. Thank you. We're going to go ahead and uh, get started on the platform because tomorrow is the last day of the class. So I need for everybody to be completed with section number five. All right. So yesterday we were analyzing a section number reading friends across continents objectives. We're going to start right here on this section. Are you ready? Ready. Are you ready? You ready? All right. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. So for the first activity that we're going to be doing today is going to be coming to be doing number in this class. Students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. En esta clase, los estudiantes leerán un chat en línea y desarrollarán habilidades en la lectura para más detalles. All right, we're going to watch the conversation. Listen to the conversation. For a minute, where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family?
They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to take a couple of minutes, and I would like for us to practice the conversation. We're going to work in pairs, and we are going to practice the conversation. Hello, Claudia. You raise your hand. Hello, Claudia. Hi, teacher. No sé, no sé si soy la única, pero... Eh, yo me quedé más atrás. Sí, ayer nos quedamos por la, por la sección 5.6, 5.4, por ahí creo. Oh, ¿really? Vamos oh, a saber por qué sí. me tiró esta actividad del sistema. Ok, it's ok. Ya, se supone que el, la plataforma me tiene que guardar la actividad, así que, sorry guys, pensé que ahí estábamos. Ok, okay. Ah, pues vamos a empezar de las 5.7. Yo pensé que ya estábamos ahí. No. Ok, vamos a empezar en la 5.7, Knowledge Check. Ve, porque no sé, no entiendo por qué me salen todas estas, como que si ya las hicimos, ve. Bien raro. Ok, we're going to start on section... Quizá, thank, thank quizá you, Claudia. porque han, han adelantado algunos. No, 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 porque esta es mi no. plataforma, esta es la plataforma oh. del maestro. Es completamente diferente a la de ustedes. La mía tiene todas las respuestas. <laughs> Ah, qué malvado. <risa> es lo bueno de ser el teacher, ya te dan la respuesta a ti solo. <risa> no, pero ya, ya pasó por esto, teacher. <risa> Cabal, ya lo pasé hace okay. mucho tiempo, así que ya sufrí. Ya yeah. yeah, sé. <risa> All right, let's continue. We're going to look at 5.7 knowledge check instructions. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation of the yes, no, and WH questions and select the correct intonation. Instrucciones. Escuche y practique. Observe la intonación de las preguntas con respuesta corta, sí y no. 
y en las interrogativas y seleccione la intonación correcta. So we're going to listen to this uh, right now. Oops. No les puedo enseñar mi pantalla porque ya tiene todo resuelto. Así que les voy a poner el audio dos veces y de allí lo vamos a chequear. One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? One. Are you wearing a coat? Two. What are you doing now? Three. What time is it? Four. Is it midnight? Five. What color is his t-shirt? Six. Are you from Thailand? Okay, now what we're going to do, you're going to tell me if the pronunciation, me va a decir si la pronunciación es up, rising, o dropping. Si la intonación baja o sube. All right, por, por ejemplo, la número uno. Are you wearing a coat? Esa está rising o dropping. Rising. rising, rising, ¿verdad? Porque al final tú decís, are you wearing a coat? So al final la pronunciación sube. La segunda, what are you doing now? Es rising or falling? Falling. Falling, falling. correct. So, estamos viendo que las que empiezan con el verbo to be, las que empiezan con R, is, con el verbo to be, la intonación siempre sube. Pero las que empiezan con WH, what, where, when, how, why, esas son dropping. Ok, so están up, las del verbo to be, y WH es falling. Falling, ok. All right, number three, what time is it? Ok. Falling. 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 Ok. Número cuatro. Is it midnight? Rising. 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 What color is his t-shirt? Falling. 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 Are you from Thailand? Rising. 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 Ok. Very good. All right. Let's look at the following one. 5.8 lesson objectives. By the end of this class, you will be able to ask and answer present continuous WH questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Al final de esta clase, ustedes serán capaces de consultar y responder preguntas interrogativas en el presente continuo. Por ejemplo, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Adicio, adicionalmente, ustedes practicarán una conversación entre un chico o un joven y su madre, su mamá, con la cual se ilustra uso de las preguntas interrogativas en contexto. Ok, so la pregunta es, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? What's your father doing? ¿Qué está haciendo tu papá? What's your mother doing? ¿Qué está haciendo tu mamá? Right? So estamos hablando de acciones que están pasando ahorita. Ahorita. Ese es el presente continuo. 
Listen, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. What's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's. So I'm. The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right, all right. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the first section. Vamos a estar viendo eh, la primera sección que es una conversación pequeña. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation. Okay, so right now this is going to be the conversation. I would like for everybody, please repeat. Hi, mom. Hi mom. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. 
Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? What are you making? Pizza. Pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Let's eat. Eat. Okay. One more time. One more time. Hi, mom. Hi, Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? What, what are, are you doing, doing, Steve? I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. It is two in the morning. In the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? What are you making? What are you making? Pizza. 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 Mmm, pizza. Mmm, pizza. pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Now, now I'm, I'm getting, getting hungry. Getting hungry. Let's, eat. Let's, Let's eat. Let's eat. All right. Okay, at this moment, do you have any questions referring to the pronunciation? Or do you have any questions referring to this information in the conversation? Getting. Uh, getting is, uh, eh, es una frase completa. I'm getting hungry. Getting. La frase quiere decir, me está dando hambre. Okay. Uh -huh. Me está dando hambre, se traduciera así. Porque get tiene muchos significados. Pero okay. en este contexto quiere decir, mm, I'm getting hungry. Me está dando hambre. Okay. Como cuando ves algo rico que se te apetece, vos decís, mm, no tengo hambre, pero ya me está dando. Okay. I'm getting como hungry. Como se me antoja. Cabal, ya se me antoja. That's right. Como cuando ves las yuquitas fritas. Con no, el... me gusta más encochada. Ah, ok, también es rica, <laughs> con salsita de tomate. Mm. Exacto. All right. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esta conversación, guys? Eh, sí, la palabra hungry. Hungry dicho. es hambre. La frase oh, I'm pero... getting hungry quiere decir me está dando hambre. Pero... Eh, eh, yo eh, y, y enojado ¿cómo enojado es? es angry angry a n g r y griega angry ah, okay. esta es ha, hungry como hungry. cuando decís hello con h decís hungry con h Gracias. Yeah. Thank you. All right. ¿Alguien más tiene otra consulta antes que practiquemos el diálogo? No, eh, teacher, nada más. Eh, let's eat. ¿O cómo se pronuncia? Y ah, let's eat. Let's eat. Let's eat. Ahí le está diciendo, comamos. Eat. Ajá. Okay. Eat. Let's eat. Dice, comamos, le dice. Okay. Let's es como una invitación. Por ejemplo, te dicen, let's go. Quiere decir, vámonos. Um, let's dance. Bailemos. All right. okay. Gracias. All right, all right. Thank you. ¿Alguien más tiene otra consulta o pregunta sobre esta conversación? Making. 
making. Le dice, what are you making? ¿Qué estás cocinando? ¿O ¿Qué estás haciendo? Pizza, le dice Steve. Okay, now we're going to practice the conversations in pairs. Practice the conversations in pairs. Let's go. Ok, ya lo tengo. Vaya. ¿Usted empieza? Vaya. Um, hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I... Eh, ¿Esa palabra cómo era? Se me olvidó. Eh... Getting, getting algo así. No me sí. recuerdo. <laughs> El pitcher no está para... Bueno, Pero I'm podemos get... poner el video a ver cómo lo dice. o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Getting. I'm getting. Okay, okay. Bye. Okay. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Bye. Hoy empiezo usted. Okay. Hi, mom. What? What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It is two o'clock in the morning. Well, I am really hungry. What are you making? Making pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm going. Hungry. Let's eat. Ok. Inicia usted. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Where are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Now I'm really hungry. Let's eat. Okay, voy yo. <laughs> Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It is two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you cook? Eh, perdón. What are you making? Pizza. 
mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. Empiezo. Sí. sí. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm very hungry. Let's eat. I know you. Mm -hmm. Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It is two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? <laughs> pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Hi, mom. What are you doing today? <laughs> I'm cooking. Where are you cooking now? It is two, two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. <laughs> now I'm really hungry. Let's eat. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It is two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm uh, going hungry let's eat hi mom what are you doing steve i'm cooking we are you cooking now it's two o'clock in the morning well i'm really hungry what are you making pizza mm, pizza now i'm getting hungry let's eat Hoy pues sí ha durado esto. Se va a saber cuántos minutos era hoy. Sí, bueno, aquí voy a traer esto. ¿Ah? Hi, mom. What are you doing, Steven? I'm cooking. Where are you cooking now? It is two o'clock. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Let me have two volunteers at this moment. Let me have two volunteers at this moment. All right, Patricia Hernandez, you are a volunteer. Patricia Sarai. Okay, so Patricia Hernandez, you are Steve. Steve and Sarai. And Sarai. Okay. Action. Okay. 
like Hi, Mom. Jesse Jackson. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. We are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Why? Ahí uh, sería why. Why? Okay, why? Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Excellent. Applause for the participants. Patricia Hernandez and Sarai. Patricia selects somebody. Sarai selects somebody. Um, uh, Miriam Mendez. Huh? Miriam Mendez. All right. Miriam okay. Mendez. You are Georgina. Steve. Uh, Georgina, you are mom. Steve. Teacher, and... solamente eh, me podría apoyar en colocar la, la, la conversación compartida. Es que fíjese que no la encontramos. All right, perfect. Let's Por favor. do it right now. Yes, yes, of course. Gracias. Yes, of course. Action. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. What are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Okay. All right. Applause for the participants. Okay. Ahora aquí en la parte de abajo vamos a. Perdón. Dígame. Hola. Hello, Marta. Eh, tengo Hi. una una duda. Sí. Eh, dígame. Eh, ahí donde dice What are you making? Ahí no. Eh, ¿Qué pasaría si yo hubiese dicho, what are you doing? ¿Qué estás haciendo? Pero, eh, sí, sí se puede, podría haber usado what are you doing en vez de making. Sí, 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 porque como no, ella no está claro lo que él está haciendo. Puede estar mm -hmm. limpiando el, el horno. Podría estar lavando los platos. Right? Le puede decir, what are you doing? What are you making? En este uh -huh. caso, como, como ella ya sabe eh, que él está cocinando, no, puede, no puedes decir doing. Si ella uh -huh. no supiera que él está cocinando, no puedes. En este caso, como ella ya sabe, porque ella le dice, Why are you cooking? ¿Por qué estás cocinando? Uh -huh. So, el what are you making es cuando se refiere a comida. Pero tú dices, ah, what are you making? La diferencia. Correcto. Tú dices, okay. I am making a sandwich. Mm, okay. What are you making? I am making tacos. What are you making? I am making eggs and bacon. Huevos y tocino. Making burrito. I'm making a burrito. That's right. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Gracias. Okay. All right. Eh, aquí en la parte de abajo vamos a escribir un diálogo similar a este. Obviamente ustedes pueden cambiar. En vez de pizza puede ser burritos. Eh, en vez de Steve se puede llamar Juan. All right. You can change it up a little bit. You have 10 minutes. 10 minutes starting right now. Start. <laughs> Perdón.
Are you finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Yes. All right. Yes. Let us move forward. We're going to be looking at, oh yeah, let's look at the next activity. It, knowledge check 5.10. Knowledge check 5.10. Now for the knowledge check 5.10, what I would like for everybody to do is we're going to be looking at answering the questions about the picture. Vamos a ver las, eh, las fotos. Victoria, Marcos, Sue and Tom, Celia, James and Anne, Andre. For example, number one, who's sleeping now? Now. ¿Quién está dormido ahorita? Victoria is sleeping now. All right. ¿Quién me puede hacer la número dos? ¿Quién me puede hacer la número dos? What's Marcos wearing? Claudia, número dos, por favor. Claudia. He's wearing pajama. Excellent. He's wearing pajamas. Yeah. Okay, pajama. All right, thank you, Claudia. Applause for Claudia, thank you. Select somebody, Claudia. Um, Roberto, ¿no está? Porque alguien por ahí ya me dijo que me mata. Fátima Ayala. <laughs> okay, ya pues Fátima Ayala sigue. Sigue usted, Fátima Ayala. Sigue Fátima Ayala. Fátima Ayala, Fátima Ayala. Hola, hola. All right, number three, Fátima Ayala. Who's having breakfast? Uh, Sue and Tom. All right, Sue and Tom, New York City, 7 a.m. So you're going to write, Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Thank you. Select somebody, Fatima. Select somebody, Fatima. Fatima. Estás allí, Fatima? Hola, Fatima, ¿me escuchas? Hola, hola. ¿Me escuchas? Sí, a Mariela Rodríguez. All right, Mariela <laughs> Rodríguez. Action. Number four, Mariela Rodríguez. Back in action. Okay, Mariela Rodriguez, escuchas mi voz? <laughs> mm, nope, Mariela Rodriguez no está aquí. Seleccione a otra persona, por favor. Seleccione a otra persona, por favor. Seleccione a otra persona, por favor. Ok, me pueden dar un voluntario. Fátima no me escucha. Eh, sería she's wearing a suit. All right, what's Celia wearing? She's wearing a suit. She's wearing a suit. Correct. ¿Quién dijo eso? ¿Quién dijo eso? Claudia de Funes. All right. Gracias, Claudia. Select somebody, Claudia, for number five, please. Mm -hmm. Américo Díaz. Américo Díaz. Americo Diaz, select 
number four, five. Hello. Why are James and Anne having lunch? Why are Anne and James having lunch? James and Anne are having lunch because it's noon. Very good. James and Anne are having lunch because it's noon is correct. All right, Americo, excellent. Select somebody, Americo. Hilda Leonor. Hilda Leonor, number six, please. Hilda Leonor, number six, please. Oh. Ok, creo que Hilda no está. Vamos con Nidia. Ella levantó la mano. Nidia, number six, please. Ok, Nidia tampoco está allí. Mm, Aquí vamos estoy, a... perdón. Oh, ok. He's working in Moscow. He's working in Moscow, is correct. Ok. All right, good job, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent work. All right, we're going to stop right here, guys. Vamos a parar aquí. Eh, les animo que continúen. Mañana es jueves, así que mañana finalizamos el módulo. Eh, vamos a tratar de completar el resto del trabajo que se necesita para la sección 5. Los que ya terminaron y ya hicieron el examen final, felicidades. Eh, no pueden recibir su certificado hasta que termine el examen final y todas las actividades estén completas. Así que mañana nos vamos a enfocar en eso. All right. Teacher, teacher. Hello. Sí, solo una consulta. Eh, de lo que acabamos de contestar, la número tres, a mí me sale que está malo. En serio. Y, y, bueno, sí, me, y sí me ha pasado en actividades anteriores que están buenas las respuestas, pero me las marca mal, que están okay. malas. Eh, esta sería, Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Así la escribió. Sí. Ok. Eh, en casos que algo así le pase, ese ya es problema de la plataforma. Usted tómele un screenshot a eso con su teléfono y se lo manda a Marvin Ramirez. Él es el encargado técnico de, las, um, de, de este tipo de problemas de la plataforma. Él tiene los programas para arreglar. Ok. Está bien. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Sí, Edwin. Hola, eh, yo creo que a varios le salen malos, quizás a la hora de poner el apóstrofe. Ah, ok. Ajá, entonces quizás ponen tilde en vez de apóstrofe. Ese ah, es el problema. Sí. Por eso le, le, da, le da mala respuesta. Ah, ok. Buena Ajá. observación. Gracias. Buena observación. Eso es correcto. Ok. All right. ¿Tomaron nota de eso, chicos? Si ponen tilde, no le, no le acepta como que si es un apostrophe. Tiene que asegurarse que está poniendo el apostrophe, no el tilde. Okay. También, teacher, que tienen que no tienen que ponerle mucho espacio porque a mí también me había pasado ese problema y era porque tenía un espacio de más. Ok, esa es otra situación. Verifiquen eso también. Ok, gracias, Mario. Okay, teacher. Very good. All right, guys. Good night. 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 See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.